it's a good time for mutants. Essentially, you know, they're, they're called up in times of need by the president. They're heroes. They're celebrated by the public. Um, and so, so Hank's in, you know, he's in a happy spot. It's pretty easy going. Um, and I think in a calmer, peace, peaceful, more peaceful situation with uh, the relationship with uh, Raven, Mystique as well. The mission is going fairly well, apart from there's, uh, there's solar flares. Um, and what happens is, um, in a very brave and unselfish, heroic moment, Jean Grey, who is kind of left out on one of the crafts trying to rescue one of these astronauts, um, she pulls one of these solar flares towards her and consumes the energy, saving all the X-Men and the astronauts who were stuck up there, but causing herself to, you know, begin the transformation into Dark Phoenix. Simon Kinberg, who wrote on the last few movies, um, has come in to direct on this film. And he wanted, in, you know, the movies have always been very emotional, emotionally driven, but he wanted to, to really hit home with the drama and, and drape it back to very human, real emotions. Um, and that's the script he wrote, and then that's in his execution as well, and how he wants to shoot with Mauro, our DP, who's fantastic. And, and he, he's really getting in there and, and kind of letting letting the emotion propel the movie for lots of different characters in their arcs and the transitions and it's um i feel like it's a it's a much more real gritty movie the sets are incredible i think uh yeah that, that, that i mean obviously for scale always on x-men movies the scale is huge um but on, on on this one i found the attention to detail remarkable when we're in jean's neighborhood when you go inside the houses when you're looking in the front yard and there's real tomatoes going we're eating the tomatoes I hope, essentially, you know, they, they can have all the fun of a normal X-Men movie, but hopefully it, it provokes uh, a lot more emotion.